you feel like pain on me. Ooh. But you know, like I know that trouble will never last. Yeah. So hold your head up high. God is on your side. And he loves you and he cares. And he's so grateful. Hey everybody, it's Tayshawn Miller. And today I will be doing a mukbang slash chit chat with you all earlier this week no i'm sorry not this week last week friday when i went live i did mention to you guys that i had some news to tell you all and um i actually did not get a chance to tell you because i wanted it to be a separate video so i'm getting ready to have my lunch let me show you what i'm having i'm having subway and this is my first time having one of their um pizzas so i'm having a vegetable pizza um what's all on this pizza is of course tomato sauce cheese spinach bell peppers just four onions because i don't really get down with raw onions like that um and banana peppers i don't have any meat or anything on it because i did not want any meat or anything on it so if you guys give me a minute let me bless my food we'll get to talking Amen. So now, what I had to tell you guys, well, I'm going to let y'all take the first bite first. Go ahead. Y'all take the first bite. Okay. Oh, it's good. It's really, really good. Mmm. Now, I used to get these all the time. But when I got it, it would be a flat tisa. It was never on a pizza bread. So it's going to be a lot more filling, I would assume. Um, which is not good for me because I don't need this bread, especially with being diabetic. But you live once, right? Okay, so. Oh, and what I'm drinking because you guys are going to see me drink this throughout the conversation. This is my apple cider vinegar and honey, which I drink every day. And baby, it is the bomb. It is so good. Okay, so. Um, what was I going to tell y'all? Y'all, I'm so into this pizza. Let me move the camera a little bit closer. Okay, now that the camera's closer, I feel a lot better. Okay, so, I'm not going to eat the ends, though. I'll probably take them to the ducks or something like that. So, pretty much, I have to have surgery on March the 22nd because I am having a hysterectomy. And... To be completely honest with you guys, I have like mixed feelings. 50% um, of me is extremely happy that I'm having it. And then the other 50% is extremely, I won't say scared, but you know, we're human. So I am partially scared, but like I don't want to have it because I do realize that once I have the hysterectomy that I can no longer have any more children, you know, unless I adopt or something like that. But um, I don't know y'all. <laughs> so the reason why I have to have it is because I have fibroids and not only do I have fibroids, but recently when I went to have a MRI done, I found out that I have something called, and I hope I don't butcher the name, but I think it's called endometria or endometriosis. It's something like that. And, yeah, it's painful. When I tell you it's painful, it's painful. It's days that I am in this house literally in tears, balled up, in fetal position, can't walk, can't move, can't sneeze, can't do anything. It's really, really painful. Um, 
As far as the fibroids go, I did have two. And, you know, fibroids come and go as they please. So I did have two. Um, and I have one now. I had a really, really large one and a smaller one. The really, really big one ruptured, which I was pretty um, relieved about. But the other one that's here, even though it's a smaller one, it seems to be giving me more pain. So, basically... When I get a period, why is this end so hard? But anyway, basically when I get a period, I bleed bad. Like bad, 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 bad. Really bad. And it's aggravating for me because at the same time, I'm sorry, I was reading the message at the top of my screen. At the same time, um, oh my God, what was I for to say? Y'all know, I, I always get sidetracked, you know. I need to start turning off my notifications when I do videos because it, it, it causes me to forget when I'm talking. Um, I don't even remember what I was going to say. But anyway, let me just continue talking about this procedure. Um... So, yeah, they want to take out my uterus because that is, I had two options. One, I can have a partial hysterectomy, but they told me that the partial may not guarantee um, comfort for me, that it may, it may not work. It may work and it may not work. Or I could just go ahead and have a full hysterectomy, get it done and out of the way, and be done with it. So... Anybody in their right mind would have chosen to have a full hysterectomy sim simply because for somebody to tell you, oh, if you have this surgery, it may or may not help you. Who wants to go through having a surgery that may not help you, that may help you? Like you want to know that it's going to help you. So you don't want to waste time being cut open and all this crazy mess. And then at the end of the day, you're still suffering. So... I just chose to um, have the surgery done. It's going to be done on March the 22nd. So what I'm trying to do is get as many videos done as fast as possible. Because they told me that my downtime will be two to three weeks. Well, you know, I won't be feeling well and be in pain and things like that. So... I'm going to try to get a lot of content out for you guys as quick as I can before. And then I have my clients that I'm trying to do as well, too. So, you guys just keep me in your prayers. I will try to go live right before I have my surgery. If I'm not drugged up. <laughs> I will try to go live and see you guys and everything like that. Because, you know... I just want to see you guys before, you know, you never know, you know, not, I'm not trying to speak anything on myself, of course, but I just wanted to go live so you guys can kind of, you know, get the experience like you're there. But let's talk about this pizza. What I want to say about this pizza is, girl, these ends though, like you can use them as a weapon. Can you hear that? I literally can use this as a rock to hit somebody with. So, will I be getting this again? No. And as a matter of fact, what I'll probably do is make it myself the next time because I really wanted it on a flatbread. And when they told me that they didn't do flatbreads anymore, I was forced to get it on this um pizza which i'm really not digging because it's so thick that's a lot of bread it's really thick and then um i don't like how she made this hard like that i really don't like that so yeah that's pretty much it because i'm getting full so i'm not gonna eat this other one i'll save that for later finish drinking my drink Get some other videos out that I need to do. And um, 
Let me know in the comment section, is anybody else dealing with the same thing? Do you have fibroids? Do you have endometria? Um, or are you going through something similar? So thank you all. Oh my God, look. I literally cannot even bite that. And I'm trying to get off the cheese because I love cheese. I really think that I'm partial rat. I love cheese. I can't get it off, so whatever. So, yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.